Welcome to World's End Lodge on the River Irrigation in Argentina. We're here to show you around of what this amazing place has got to offer. Now, for anybody who wants to do some sea trout fishing in one of the most intimate and technical rivers in the whole of Argentina, this is definitely the destination for you. This river, which is over 80 kilometers long, here at the World's End Lodge, they mainly fish 20 kilometers from the ocean upstream and consists of seven zones, but they mainly fish from zone one to six. Uh, six is a really exciting zone, as you'll see, because you get to go on the Argo Cat, so you go up and down the river in the river, um, like a little four-wheel amphibious vehicle. The whole experience here for a week, um, especially if you're a single angler, single-handed angler, so to say, um, <clears throat> it's just divine. The guides are all top class. I've been to quite a lot of lodges around the world, and this one is a, another one that I think is something a little bit special. The picture seen, as you can see behind me, is in total contrast to anything else that I've ever been to or ever fished to, fished with in Argentina before. Uh, the normal wide landscape, barren uh, areas of uh, Rio Gallegos and Rio Grande is in total contrast here. If you just look around, you can see it's surrounded by ancient forest, wild cows absolutely everywhere. There's a bull even calling in the background here. It is just one of the most exciting rivers to fish that I've had the opportunity to fish. It really makes you think about your fishing, the way that you present your fly, how you present your fly, and uh, the rewards are phenomenal. You know, in a week here, between there's only four customers, so only four rods on a normal week, um, and you can expect anything from 30, 40 fish. So, you know, you're looking at, you know, seven, eight to 10, if you're lucky, sometimes 15 fish per angler per week. Um, it's just an amazing place. What about this first morning on the river irrigation? There's Tracy behind me there. Just having a little bit of a practice, just blowing out some cobwebs before the start of the week. And uh, Diego's down there with Philip just starting to work down the pool. Just get sorting his casting out. What a stunning place. Conditions for the first day, as you can see from my face, it's a bit sunny. So uh, for sea trout fishing, um, I don't hold out a lot of hope for this first session this morning but uh, we've always got the last knockings at the end of the day, so we're just gonna come out this morning, have a little food goes on the river, and then probably have a nice relaxing day and come fish hard this evening. But if the clouds come over, because we're so close to the ocean, literally next to the ocean, but what a stunning place. One of the things that uh, fishing on the river Gershon is famous for is the log jams. As you can see from over there. But to give you an idea of what they mean to the fish, I don't know if you can see, but how the log jam here, which is now above the water table, the water gouges it out. So up there there's gravel. And then down here, you see there's all these holes. And as in here, the sea trout, when they're running up the river on days like today, or in daylight, the sea trout feel really safe and secure. As you can see, this is what gives them their protection. And then as the log jam runs out, there's our tackle. And it comes back up to normal river level, or bank level. So, it just gives you an idea of why you need to get your fly as tight as you can to these log jams. Perfect example.
Nice mail. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well done, darling. Three. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh. He's a fat boy. Prophecy trout. Happens, lift it. This is what happens when you do what your guide tells you to do. Beautiful. Oof. Oof. Head that way. Oof. That's it. Oof. That's it. Beautiful. Excellent. The water again. Breather. He's really good boy, I think. Okay. You ready? ready? It's going to go splashy flash. <laughs> yes. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. he's a big boy. Okay. Little cockfish. Well, my first one on the River Ocean. Just gave me a lovely bath with the state of my glasses. All over me. Beautiful fish. Just took really one of those heavy little nymphs just on the bank behind me. Great take. Just let him go. Look <laughs> at the state of me. <laughs> Tide's coming in. Oh my god, I can hardly pick this thing up. I can't actually pick it up. The weight's all in the head. That's a rabolo. That's a big one. There's a lot of weight in that head. Very much like Dorado. All the weight is in the head. <laughs> Look at that. That fly in its mouth. What a fish. What a fish. Let's take the hook out. That was one hell of a scrap. It's like GT fishing in Argentina. What a great thing to do in the... This is meant to be siesta time. Oh, and I wasn't going to lose it, I can tell you. Oh, I'm have to get the flowers on that one. There you go. Put them away.
small one this morning. This is a little male, as you can tell by the little kite he's got there. Let's give him a little breather. To keep him nice and wet. It's got a little bit of colour, even though we're no more than half a mile from the ocean. He's been sitting in this pool. Beautiful little things, with stunning colours. Absolutely beautiful little fish, aren't they? Absolutely great. Give it a kiss. Mwah. Then we're gonna see if we can let him go. Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend. So what's the accommodation like at World's End Lodge? Well, it's perfect. For fishermen, it's got absolutely everything you like and you would need. Hot water, electricity powered by a generator, which you may be able to hear in the background. Um, the complex, the camp, is split up. You have, to my left here, you actually have the uh, canteen block, which is where all our breakfasts are served, dinners and evening meals. And then over there, you have accommodation block, if I turn around. Behind me here, right just over my shoulder there, that's the accommodation block, which consists of four twin rooms. However, as there's only four rods here, each person gets their own single room. There are other various buildings around, which are maintenance buildings. There's a whole block for the guides. <coughs> but the grounds are absolutely beautiful. And you're sitting right on the river, on zone one. You can see pump pool, home pool, and uh, it's fantastic just to get up in the morning and see this every day. Not 100% certain what tackle to bring. Well, obviously you can talk to ourselves in the office. That's the advantage of us coming to these destinations is we know exactly what you need. But let's say you've forgotten something or you run out of something. Another great advantage of World's End Lodges behind me is a fully stocked fly shop. So they have everything in there from all the fly lines that you could possibly want for. Think uh, sink tips, intermediate poly leaders, 20 pound, 30 pound tippet, because you will need it here. And a great selection of flies. There's some clothing in there, buffs, sun, gloves. Um, basically, anything that you were to forget, you can actually purchase at the lodge, which is really nice. So what's the fishing like on the River Irrigation? Well, as you can see behind me, it's not a large river. Um, it's a river that you can cover quite, very well and capably with a single-handed rod and to be honest with you that's what most people use here you can bring switches um, as long as you can uh, just roll out the line and get it across the other side because you don't really want to make too much splashing because anyone who goes sea trap fishing knows that's the the kiss of death and it's all about quiet presentations so mainly we've been using single-handed rods nine foot rods with main floating lines but the quick loading lines so something like the rear outbound shorts are perfect um, they also use um, Salmon Pro Logic lines, which, were, they, which are available in the tackle shop here, um, which are perfectly, and they were actually designed to fish this river. So it was a very weight forward line, but with a built in running line, but the beautiful, softer presentation. And then you might be using something between a clear intermediate between five, eight, and 10 foot poly leaders. Uh, other alternatives when you may be fishing, subject to what the water conditions is when you arrive. You may be using slow sinks, five feet, or if you've got really high water, you may be down to uh, 10 feet or five feet, very fast sinks. And then uh, basically it's just um, tip it, and which is a shock to a lot of people if you've ever sea trout fished before, is um, quite often here, we're using a minimum of 20 pound tip it. Yes, I did say 20 pound. And as you'll see in the video, the reason for that is, uh, the amount of log jams that we fish tight up to because that's where especially in the daytime the fish will sit because they can get underneath the log jams makes them feel a little bit more secure but there's more sh shadow a bottom which gives them makes them feel safer and that's where they'll sit and uh, to entice them out you need to get your flies right tight to those log jams so you have to cast right close and uh, consequently when you hook one and especially if it's a good one it's going to try and get back in those log jams and you need to be able to stop it Here we 
out this morning. Me and Tracy are out with a guy called Faku today. And we're gonna be uh, resuming our little friendly partner competition to see who can catch the most fish. There might be a little bit of banter going on. <laughs> might be a bit of laughing going on. Ooh. We've got a good walk to start the morning off. Looking at the river now. Stunning. Beautiful place. Blueberries, breakfast on the river. <laughs> Don't get any fresher than that, does it? Here we have Tracy. I just went through the pool, had a take first cast, then nothing else. And Tracy's just gone through with a lovely leech. Oh, it's a wonder bug, sorry, with a wonder bug. It's got a nice fresh fish. That's it, walk it back, sweet. Well done. Whoa! Oh, fresh fish and a nice one. Crazy? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's amazing. This is my lucky pool, beaver pool, at the Irrigation River. Last morning fishing, and uh, everyone's now starting to come out and uh, get bagged up. Accommodation's got an excellent drying room, so everything in the morning is nice and snug and cosy. Even though yesterday we had a, an absolute torrential downpour and we were all pretty wet when we came in. Uh, made no effect because today we're all nice and toast and crisp and warm. It's looking a good day, a nice overcast sky. There's a little bit of sun from behind me, which is where the ocean is. Um, it's gonna be broken cloud today, I think. It does look a bit stormy up there, which is um, in the mountains range, which is the source of the river. But um, a bit windy, which is nice. Nice little breeze, but as you can see, it's some nice clear bits of sky. We just don't really want when I'm sea trout fishing, but it's making for some nice pictures this morning. Really looking forward to the last day. It's mixed feelings, really. It's been such a fabulous week. It's been so enjoyable fishing. It seems a shame for it to come to an end, but it's not over yet. We've still got two sessions, and hopefully we're going up to zone six this morning, which is uh, one of the most prettiest zones. I'm really looking forward to that.
fish? Yeah. 43 and a half. That's I would. 12. 12, 13 more or less. She's lovely. Sorry. Excellent. Do not release it yet. Racing to the current. Let it in a second. Right, move it forward. Yeah, that's it. back really gently. Okay, beautiful in miniature. Just as we start to get dark. Whee! Beautiful little sea trout on a nice big leech. So, put it upstream. Get some water on its face. Once it can see the pool, she will go. Here we go. We have worked so hard for this fish this evening. I think this was 87 yep. centimeters by uh, 44. 44. She's a beautiful fat lady. Absolutely beautiful. Just give her a breather. She's starting to recover really nicely now. I think we're going to give it a kiss. <clears throat> beautiful. Just look at that. They're so stunning, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, relax, relax, relax. And this is where we probably get a bath. 